You know, let's say that somebody goes out to their street corner every day and says, I dislike bran flakes. I dislike bran flakes. I, I, I don't find them to be a, a, a food that I enjoy eating. I don't like them. I don't like bran flakes. And he goes out to a street corner with a sign that says, I dislike bran flakes. Okay, completely whatever opinion. I mean, he's just sharing his opinion. <clears throat> but let's say that for some reason the news decides to come out and cover this, right? Maybe because the the idea that somebody's going out to their street corner with a sign and shouting, I dislike bran flakes, is so like on a daily basis, right? They do this on a daily basis. And eventually the fact that this guy is just going out here sharing his opinion on a daily basis with a sign and shouting from a street corner, completely exercising his First Amendment right, is just so bizarre to people that eventually the news decides to pick, pick it up and cover it. <clears throat> so now not only, now not only do you have a guy who has expressed his dislike for bran flakes on numerous occasions... Um, continuing to do so on a daily basis, but the, the, the sheer bizarrety of that to, uh, causes the news to, to decide to come cover it. Maybe they don't cover every single time he does it, but they come out and say, hey, this guy is coming out to the street corner on a daily basis and saying that he dislikes brand flakes. Why is he doing it? What's his motivation? Who knows? But now we have videographic evidence on the news of this guy saying he dislikes brand flakes, right? <clears throat> that he doesn't like them. That he finds their taste and texture unappealing. He just doesn't like bran flakes, right? It would be pretty bizarre from that point on to ever make the claim, especially once there's this videographic evidence on the news. It would be pretty bizarre to make the claim that this guy likes bran flakes. I mean, he's coming out to his street corner with his sign shouting, I dislike bran flakes every day. And if somebody comes up to him and asks him what he dislikes about him, He'll tell them about them. He'll tell them. He'll say, I just, I don't like the taste. I don't like the texture. There's just nothing about it that appeals to me. Um, you know, but if you like bran flakes, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to stop you from, from your right to purchase and eat bran flakes, but it's just not my jam. You know, it's not my, it's not my bowl of cereal. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> It'd be pretty, and especially once the news comes out and covers this and shows him on camera, live on the news, expressing his dislike for bran flakes, it would be pretty bizarre for anybody to make the claim that this guy likes bran flakes, that he's a bran flake lover, that he donates to the to, to cereal companies that produce bran flakes because of how much he loves them, right? <clears throat> be pretty bizarre. And nobody would believe you, right? At least not after a two-second Google search, right? You know, if somebody said, hey, you know, John Smith loves bran flakes. He he certainly has never gone on record saying he doesn't like bran flakes. And somebody Google searches them, Google searches the guy's name and they find news stories about John Smith, the man who dislikes bran flakes so much that he has denounced them on a daily basis on his street corner with a sign. <clears throat> I think you see where I'm going with this. Nobody would believe you. And it's such a bizarre idea that somebody would love Bran Flakes so much. Let's say they turn the narrative around completely. <clears throat> Let's say somebody came up to you and said, John Smith loves Bran Flakes so much that he goes out to his street corner every day and supports Bran Flakes. You'd be like, whoa, a guy going out on his street corner every day just to confess his love for Bran Flakes? That's bizarre. So you do a five second Google search, you find out it's actually the exact opposite. And that the guy's actually been going out on the street corner every day with a sign that says, I dislike Bran Flakes. It'd still be kind of bizarre. <clears throat> Especially once the news broke and people discovered his dislike for Bran Flakes and it became national news because, I guess, again, because of the uniqueness of the story. At that point, it becomes common knowledge that he dislikes Bran Flakes. And yet, for some reason, people are still pushing this idea that he loves Bran Flakes and that he's never said anything to the contrary. It'd be pretty bizarre for people to make that claim. And it'd be pretty be pretty weird and it'd be kind of unsettling for people to to make that claim, to try to gaslight you into thinking that John Smith is a Bran Flake lover when he's been on record on the news with his sign saying, I dislike Bran Flakes. Again, I think you see where I'm going with this. So why is it then? 
that after President Donald Trump denounces white supremacy, the KKK, white nationalism, and racism and discrimination in general, on record, on the news, on video, hundreds of times, maybe not hundreds, dozens at least, to be sure. I think the, the official count, I couldn't find an exact count with a uh, five-second Google search <clears throat> prior to starting to shoot this video, but I know it's at least dozens. But why is it that even after one time, after even one time on the news, on record, of Donald Trump denouncing white supremacy, racism, white nationalism, all of these things, why do people still expect us to believe the claim that he's never done it? <clears throat> My Google search turned up factcheck.org. And I don't want to accuse them of any sort of, you know, political bias because I haven't done a deep dive into them. You know, I don't know as much about them as I do about, say, PolitiFact or anything like that. But just browsing through their front page turned up article after article after article about Trump falsely claims X. So, you know, they're, on the surface, there appears to be a bit of a surface-level bias against Trump. And even they had an article calling out Joe Biden for his completely false claim that Donald Trump has never denounced white supremacy. <clears throat> Ministry of Truth at it again, guys. They're at it again. <clears throat> 